everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a wreath. So this is a fall wreath. And I've had so many requests for these. Um, I decided to take a couple of weeks and do just a couple more. So this week we're doing the fall one. And then uh, down the road, I will be doing a Christmas wreath for those of you who have asked me specifically for that. So that is coming up. So this week we're gonna work on this uh, fall wreath. Um, it's really fun. It only takes four colors. So I've left the pumpkin white on here so you don't have to necessarily use the traditional colors um, use your imagination and try something a little different so that's kind of what I want to convey to you um, this week so let's get going uh, we're gonna need a few things so in the uh, project series 3 we're gonna use these little pumpkins we used these last week and we're gonna use them again so the little pumpkins um, in the branches set we're gonna use this one and this little curly willow right here in the fall set, we're gonna use this little berry, the one that um, turns to the left, and this little vine with the leaves. And in the flower set, we're gonna use this guy. So this little filler flower right here also works great as leaves. So it's a little broader leaf that works great for fall. Uh, in the foliage set, I'm using this small one. So the straight foliage set, if you don't have this set, go ahead and use the vine that you have in your um, basic foliage set. That one will work great. And then also the birds. So I'm gonna use this little guy right here and just put him in the center of the wreath. Okay, so that's all we need to get started. And I've um, kind of prepped my watercolor paper, so I've drawn a circle here. This is about three inches, and then I've divided it into quarters. And if you look at this closely, you can see it's not perfect, but um, I am all about things not being exactly perfect and being able to do it quick and easy. So if your quarters are not perfect, that's okay. And you don't necessarily even have to do this. I, I think it's easier for me to, um, especially when I get the, um, the basic image Images in to uh, make sure that my wreath is balanced but um, that's up to you you don't have to do it this way so I'm going to start out by inking the little pumpkin and I'm just going to use one of these so I'm not going to ink this one back in the background just the one in the front and I'm just going to start by stamping it into my little quarters Re ink that again and maybe I'll turn it a little bit so like this and then I'll put another one up here and then another one down here. So you can see I've kind of got them all in. And don't worry that they're not uh, perfectly placed. Like I said, this is just a guideline for you. So let's go ahead and add water to this now. So I'm gonna dip my brush in water and pull the color out of the lines. And if you want to make these pumpkins orange, you can. Um, but you don't have to follow the traditional colors. In fact, I have some blue pumpkins on my mantle right now and I just love them. So you could try these in blue. I think that would be really cute. So you're not locked into um, just the basic colors. It's kind of fun to experiment and do different things. So I've left these white because I also really like white pumpkins. And you know, white is the quickest way to do it. Pull the color out of the lines and you're done. Okay, so we've got those done. That looks pretty good. We can come back and add some more detail to that later. Um, so we're gonna go on to the next step and that is to add the little branches in here. So I ink that, if I didn't say that earlier, I ink that pumpkin in the sepia. And so now I'm going to um, ink this one, uh, the branch in the sepia as well. And I don't need to ink the whole thing. So I think I'm just gonna ink this bottom part right here and the stem will make it too long. So you can see when I lay this in between the, uh, the little pumpkins, the stem is gonna be too long. So I'm not gonna ink that part. And just stamp it in here a couple of times, just like that. And it's easier just to turn your paper. So um, just move your paper around just like this. Just kind of follow your guideline. Once you get the uh, the basic images in, it's not as important to stay in your in your quarters. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll put, just tap another little piece in there like that. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna come back in now with the uh, with the foliage. So that's this little. Um, it's actually from the flower set, but it makes a great foliage as well. So I'm gonna ink that now with the number uh, 27. So this is olive brown. 
So I haven't added any water to these branches yet. I'm gonna wait to do that. So I'm gonna stamp this in a couple of times. So just ink this, just kind of wherever. Wherever you kind of, you know, have some open spaces. And just keep turning your paper. I'll try to uh, watch so that I don't uh, turn my paper off the screen. And just get it in here a few times. Keep inking it up in there a bunch of times. Okay, that looks pretty even. Maybe I'll put just one more over here and maybe one more over here. That looks good. Okay, so now before I clean that off, I'm going to re-ink it now with a number 15. So I'm gonna put some of this bright green in too. Just kind of mix this up. Just put a few of these in. kind of um, fun to get a mix of greens in here. You know, even though it's fall, there's still some green. So uh, we've got that really pretty olive, olive green. So now we're adding the bright green to it too. Okay, that looks good. Maybe just one more little one there. Okay, so let's go on now to the next step. So let's add the water to this now. So we're gonna dip our brush in water and we're gonna pinch it off and we're just gonna start dabbing. Uh, at this and you can see the color will really start to come out and we're going to get a mix also of that sepia from the branches it's going to give us a really nice color and just kind of take your time and just dab remember no brush strokes we're not painting anything we're just softening the lines that we've just stamped and this color will just kind of all mix together just kind of walk your way around so fun. This is the relaxing way to make a breathe with your markers. Let's keep going. So make sure you don't get too much water on here. Uh, always pinch your brush off. Always pinch it off like that so that you have control over the water. If you get too much water on here, you just end up with a big kind of a blob and we don't want that. Okay, so we've got our foliage in here. Looks pretty good. And we're going to add the next step now. So we're gonna ink that little foliage uh, with a bright color now. So this is a number six brown, and in all of this green, this is gonna look really bright. It's actually um, a brown, but it's gonna look more orange. So we're gonna ink this up now, and we're just gonna add um, some of this just kind of in wherever. The thing about these wreaths is you just kind of put it wherever, wherever you kind of feel like it. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. And depending on how full you like your wreaths, mine tend to just grow and grow and grow. So uh, you don't have to add all these steps. You can make them way simpler if you want to. But I just, I just like adding more stuff to them. So mine just keep getting bigger and bigger. And this is where you can kind of look at your wreath and see if it's uh, looking round or if you need to add uh, anything to any other places. You can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna add some water to that now. Dip my brush in water. You can see how the water just really pops this color out. Just love it. It's starting to look more like fall now. I just blend. It's okay that you blend it into the green that you've already done, that's okay. It's gonna give you a really nice mix of color. Yeah, 
You can see my hand is uh, flat on the table. So just like you're writing your name, so you're not stabbing at your image. You're just, um, you're just dabbing. So easy. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's go ahead and add some more detail now. And uh, I'm gonna use the little, the little berries. I'm gonna use two colors on these. So I just need the, the very top part of this. So I'm gonna use the sepia and just ink the top. And then the brown, this is the brown that I used uh, on this foliage here. I'm gonna use that on the berries. And then we're gonna ink it again. So you're only gonna get a couple of impressions with it. And then you gotta re-ink it. So stamp it a couple of times. And then re-ink. And just kind of keep repeating that process. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. These little berries are just so cute. Get a couple more in here, and we're gonna be good to go to the next step. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put a few in here. And maybe just a couple in here. Okay, so dip your brush now and just use the tip of your brush. If you have a number one, use your number one. That's a really tiny little uh, brush. And just, just touch these little berries. Just like so. Just really pops that color out. So cute. Okay, so let's go on to the next step and we're gonna add the little curly willows now. And we're gonna add those with the sepia. And there's two ends to this. So you can use uh, whichever end just to change the shape up a little bit. And you can just add as much of these little elements as you want to. So I'm going to clean off that back side and use this part. Just keep spinning your paper. You don't really need to add any water to that. It's good just the way it is. So let's go ahead and add the little leaves now. And you can just, like I said, you can put whatever elements you have in here. It's just, it's really fun because they, they never turn out the same twice. Every time you do them, they're gonna be different. But that's the, that's the fun part of, of doing these things is that they're different every time. And it's a, you know, it's a one of a kind creation. That's why you sign a date. That's why I'm so adamant about signing and dating because every time you do these, they're different and it's your own creation. So even though you're using stamps, you're still creating your own work. So I'm just using sepia and just kind of put it wherever uh, you want to. And you can see I'm not inking the whole thing. So I'm just inking the top, the tip, and just kind of putting it where, uh, wherever. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna use the fine tip now and really get in these details. This is the sepia. Cause when I, when I ink these uh, stems from the pumpkins, I lost some of the lines here. So I'm just putting those back in with my fine tip. You can do that. And just kind of look over it and see if you need to add anything else to it. 
uh, don't be afraid to pull the color out to the center and just kind of drag that color out. You know, if you like that watercolor look, that really um, kind of faded out, more abstract look, uh, just pull that, keep pulling that color out. And I'm just touching these little, these little leaves. They don't need a lot. Remember, we're just softening what we just, what we just stamped. So fun. Okay, that looks good. Let's um, wait till that, let's make sure this is dry. So just kind of run your hand over it. Uh, it doesn't take long to dry, so that's the good thing about it. And then we will erase these lines. Uh, make sure when you put these lines in that you do them really lightly. Uh, and then they'll erase really easily. So I've got that out of there. So I'm just gonna add one more detail to the center and I'm gonna use the same, uh, the same branch. I'm just gonna clean it off. So I don't need the whole thing. And then I'm just gonna use this little top part here. Um, you know, because with a stamp, you can ink just the parts that you wanna ink. So just this little area in here. I'm gonna ink that. And just stamp that right in the center. So probably about, whoops. Okay, right about here. And then I've got my little bird. So this little guy, and I'm gonna use my positioner to make sure that I get him on the branch. So I'll just place my positioner in the corner, like so, and ink my little my little bird. I'm gonna use sepia, and then just stamp him in the corner. And I really, I don't really even need to re-ink him. I can just kind of huff on him a little bit. And just stamp him right on that little branch. I'm gonna dip my brush. So this, these are tiny little lines, so we don't need a lot of water on this at all. Just a little tiny bit. And you wanna come back in here with your fine tip and really make sure you get this little beak, this little beak and his little eyes in really dark. And let's just add a little color on the palette. This is that uh, number six brown. And let's just give him a little red, a little red chest. So cute. Little Robin. Make sure you don't get too much um, water on there. And then pull a little of this color out just a little bit. Just kind of blurs that center a little bit. Okay, that looks good. We are completed and ready to sign a date. So do that. And give it to someone. You will make their day. They will love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.